Welcome back, everybody. Uh, got some stuff done. Actually, let me go, go ahead and start this loading in in the background. Uh, I'm out here running around. I'm over by Shinrata right now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go to Palin, um, open him up, um, and do some up. Uh, I've got enough to get him maxed out. Uh, but he doesn't open anyone else. Um, we have one of the other people that do thrusters uh, unlocked and a pattern already locked up. So I might go ahead and have him do clean drive and lock that pattern in. Uh, I got off camera. I leveled Todd McQueen up enough to open up Celine. So what I'm going to do is uh, Go over, unlock Professor Palin. Uh, get that leveled up with you guys right now, and then I'm going to have to do some changing some things around. I need to get 10 Penite from a pristine metallic ring. So we'll find one of those. And then, uh, ooh. Okay, I only need 50 tons of bromelite and 10 tons of pinite. I have 500 tons mined. I'm almost positive of that. We can check that right now, real quickly in game. Uh, stats, mining. Yeah. We've done over 500 tons. Figured we'd done well over that, but, you know, you can never be too sure. So, with that being said, We'll go over here to Professor Palin, take care of him real quick, and this is just two jumps away. Oh no, I'm not at Sonrata, I'm still at uh, the Blaster's base. Uh, modules, thrusters, info. I've got four okay. level of dirty drive. I'll change this one over to uh, clean drive, and that will get us what we need to get everything set up. I think. Set my. There we go. That's better. Uh, once again, I started this with my OTOS unplugged, and that's what was causing that. I plugged it in while the joystick was at a slight angle. So it set my center on the joystick to actually be turning uh, as off to the side.
I'm hoping by my readings, you're not hearing the lovely AC unit directly behind me making a lot of noise. And I've been getting this fairly frequently. I don't know if it's because of bad latency on my end. But I, every once in a while, have a big issue when I come off planet or I'm jumping system to system where it takes forever for me to actually load out. A couple more moments. There we go. Unidentified signal source, with a weapons fire, something we're not going to be interested in. Get up past the OC. I think that's the o orbital something. I'm not sure what the C stands for. And now we're safe to make a turn. Two jumps away. Always look whenever you do something up here, it tells you what your class is we're going into. And if you're running low on fuel and the system you're in is the last place you can scoop fuel or get fuel, it will tell you in that and that you can cancel out your jump and get fuel before you leave that system. It'll tell you you don't have enough to get to the next fuel, fuel point. So it's something you want to pay attention to anytime you jump. If anyone knows a way to do it, I would love to know how you might be able to refresh that to, if you just barely caught a message and it disappears. I'd love to know how to bring that info back up. I've tried hitting I. Uh, and nothing comes, goes on, so I have no idea how you might be able to refresh that, if it's possible. And like before, engineer I'm not a hundred percent we have one in Shinrata but I believe every engineer is on a planetary surface uh, I believe I mentioned it in a previous video down to earth astronomy has a really good uh, list video he made out of the list of which patterns or engineering blueprints you want from each engineer to be the most efficient that way you can uh, you don't have to keep going out here unless you need you really want the uh, experimental effect for one one reason or another.
it was not recovering from my speed slow down i did a little too late so i just shot off to the side a little bit to give myself some padding again you really want to start your deceleration by time, when you're hitting 10 seconds if you're dropping in quick you want to get that acceleration down quickly Since it's on the other side of the planet, I, these are probably, um, yeah, those are fleet carriers. There's not much over the horizon, so I'm going to come in pretty close to hitting the horizon. If it was deep in, I would stay a high up inside that blue line, which is the OC. Now that I'm in orbital flight, I go ahead and go back up to full power. Which isn't all that fast. When you're in orbital flight, you slow down a pretty good amount. And I'm looking on the left side of my screen for the distance to it. And also looking at my elevation. And I want to drop down. Fifty-ish kilometers out. Under fifty kilometers. If you drop at fifty or a little lower, you can get right on top of your landing point without having to boost up to it. Takes a lot of practice because this glide can be short, it can be long. So it's going to keep my speed up just to speed up the landing procedure. The auto dock doesn't go into effect till I throttle down to zero. And if I go and throttle up right now, we'll cancel the auto dock. I believe. Yeah. They didn't like me doing that. There we go. Uh, top off the tanks. Docking procedure completed. Ship secured. Greetings, Commander. Engineered workshop. Donate them. Now, I did find out uh, the sensor fragments that we went and got all those extras for are only good for unlocking and AX flax cannons and the munitions. So, didn't really need to get all those extras. We cannot 
change them up at a material trader. Um, I don't see um, that's frame shift. Okay. Well, that doesn't make any frickin' sense. Why do I have... Oh, never mind. I do have it twice. I've increased FSD from two different people. Oh, no, that's hers. Okay, now I see how it's working. And... Chloe is Dirty Drive. Um, so we can go and do Clean Drive with his to upgrade him and pin this one. Uh, so we lose thermal or uh, thermal load and stuff goes up. That's where that one does. Oh, that's dirty drive tuning. Clean drive. It increases the thermal handling and some other stuff. So we'll go ahead and switch up. And I'm going to pin that blueprint. And keep going until he is hopefully at level five even though he doesn't open anyone else up I would like now the bat downfall is you lose optimal mass by doing clean um, And we are going to get him to level five for sure. And I believe I've stated it before. It doesn't matter at what. No, don't have enough for that. Conductive ceramics we ran out of. So I'm going to have to go back unless we can get double braced. <sighs> Dirty drives with drag is your go-to for most applications. I can do this barely I'm not seeing extra weight or anything ah oh, I was hoping that would push us into the five 
Oh well. But he's set up. I'm not going to really worry about getting him any higher. We have any cartographic stuff? No. Okay. So. I'm going to have to go get my mining ship and do a little bit of tweaking on it. Because uh, we need 10 units of painite. Um, because Bra Bill Turner wants these. Um, so let's take a look real quick on what Bill Turner requires. We don't have him unlocked yet. He's not unlocked yet. Elioth Independence. I had messed up earlier on. Uh, I'm not seeing. So, unfortunately, okay, I need a system permit. Okay, I have the alley off system permit. All right, we're good need this system permit for Alioth to uh, get their Bill Turner. So 50 tons of bromolite and 10 units of painite. So I am going to go get my python we're only four jumps out um, I'll get my python put a fuel scoop on it so I don't think I've got a fuel scoop right now um, all I need is 60 tons of cargo so I'll bring you back in when I get to that facility okay we're back uh, Grabbing the python. And I've got an idea on how I want to do this. Alright, so... I want to see if I can, what we can do here. Dang it, we're limited to this one. I do not think... We have any modules here we do not okay so
we have more than enough storage with 144 tons right now. Uh, we have the planetary approach suite we'll need, the detailed surface scanner we'll need. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up not the best option, but we're going to get a big fuel scoop because I just don't like having to mess with it. Going to store that cargo. And then uh, what we have set right now for engineers, we have Celine ready to go. So she needs the 10 Panite. And the Frontier, the Game Manufacturers Forums, says right here, we are real close to her system, only 52 light years out. And LHS 2661 is where we want to go. So this is probably, old data when the fleet carriers came out they changed all the mining locations hotspots but they didn't change the type of rings um, that the planets have so we should be able to get what we need from there and then I did the same thing here. Uh, Elioth is where we're going to be for that other one. So we're going to be going to this system after we get the... We'll take a look and see which is the more efficient way to go. We might go to that system and get the other uh, minerals first. Um, just in case, I'm going to just run with 20. And unfortunately, because we did that, we are going to have to go and redo the map because we changed our light jump, our, our jumping range because we added weight. But we're good to go. This will get us over there. We are looking at eight jumps total. So I'll bring you back in when we get to LHS 2661. Okay, we're jumping into 2661. Uh, gonna do a full system scan. Uh, I wasn't looking. See what type of sun this was. Ooh, okay. Always fly straight away from a neutron star. Get yourself a good distance out. I'm safe probably here and we'll go ahead and haunt the system since I panicked and I saw a neutron star. Gas giant. And what I'm going to be looking at here is as we do this scan, or the type of rings. We want metallic on one, we want icy on the other.
I'm not going to actually worry about letting these completely finish on the scan. I save a little time. Get these guys cleared out. Looks like icy ring to me. Okay. General rule of thumb, your ring planets are your giants. You do occasionally get others that will have rings, but usually it's just the giants that I can remember ever seeing rings on. planets here. Let's see if there's a sh quicker way to do it. We know we're going to the sixth planet. Two, three, four, five, six. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is just go for this and get, just get the big ones so we can figure out if they are metallic or ice. We've got one more to find. Number three, to me, is making me think metallic. So I want to go over to this one and just scan the belt. We need the bromelite or the painite. going to do is scan the rings, not the whole planet. Let's see what gonna help us okay I think there's a way to find out what type of rings it is so on and so forth without having to go all the way to the planet but I don't not recall what it is
Are you seeing rings on the planet? I had seen rings on when we did that, but I'm not seeing anything on this planet, ring-wise. Okay, saying there's rings. Okay. Surface scan complete. I am seeing zero on that. So back to here. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. One point one. This one, okay. Let's see what this has on it. It's not all that far away. I'm seeing zero mining areas on that one. Zero hot spots. Let's see what this one gives us. Probably wasting more time than we're going to save. Four, five is what we're going towards. Six is our next one. We are going towards it a little bit, so it's not a total waste. And yet again, we've got that bug where it says there's messages. Okay, I'm going to clear this. We've got a little bit of time still. I'm prepping it. And what I've got going is I wanted to find out what we got and as we're waiting for the sensors to light up the rings I'll move my ED engineer over for you to see what I'm looking at this time I can actually see the rings out of range. Now we're going too fast. Aim at the planet, slow it down. There we go. And just creep up. Let's see if there's a break in where it says ring. There is. Even though it didn't show us break. 
Surface scan complete. So, what do we have here? Musgrave. Any others? Okay. I want to say Painite, I know, comes up as a Painite hotspot. And I believe the Bromolite does too. So, what I was looking at is I filtered the engineers to Selene. Uh, Because that is the first one we're going for, correct? Yeah, we're just go we're going for her first. So I pulled up the modules that she crafts. By looking at this, definitely going to be able to do heavy duty hull reinforcement. And that's what we're going to be pinning on the blueprint also. So. I was just going to get upset if I went and opened her up and didn't have the materials going to be needed. Uh, the materials I would need for... Uh, unlocking her fully, even though I don't need to because she is the end of No, I do need to unlock her all the way for Dee Dee Batterman and Bill Turner And we do have enough materials to unlock her fully But I will be doing a... I don't want to call it a cheat, but I will be doing some swapping things out. I'm going to change out my hull reinforcement package on this ship to a different grade, a heavier grade. But I think my crate or the Chieftain can use. Engineer that all the way up and then ship it back to where one of those ships are. Something else I had done at, off camera last night is I got actually go back up to 28 kills with the scouts which got us to novice rank 23 23% into novice So we'll see here shortly. I was just hoping to be able to get some bromolite also in this system. But they we're not going to be able to do that.
and according to it that guide it's the inner ring that one there not this one but like I said they changed out mining spots surface scan complete exit out we have painite hotspot We'll go into this. And the darker, ye uh, brighter yellow is the higher concentration. Your density is in the center is higher than towards the outside edge. And then on the bands where the band is more solid yellow, you have a higher concentration of asteroids. So when you come into these, you always want to take those things into consideration. This one right here. We're de not dead center, but we're definitely in the right ballpark. Drop our speed down and we enter. And there's a ship finally. You always have somebody come over and see what you're doing. And this is why I got extra limpets. Generally, what I like to do is get right up on one that gave me a return I liked. The ship isn't set up for core hunting, but we get other things. We are set up for subsurface deposits. Limpet engaged. Asteroid scan complete. Nothing we're looking at there. Okay, by what I'm seeing on my screen, that is a mining ship, so I'm not worried about getting jumped. I am going to glitch the game a little bit to a point. Actually, no, we'll go and open that up. Um, go into modules. Deactivate the limpet controllers for a minute. And you'll see why we're doing that here in just a moment. got other ships coming into the system. There 
mess with that other mining ship right now. We do not need that. We do not need that. That's what I'm doing right now, is getting commodities that we are not interested in on the ignore list. This might come back and bite me in the behind. Programming an infant drone. Two pain nights so far. I had some low temperature diamond left over in my refinery. concerned because I'm still showing another ship in the area. And we're not quite halfway there yet. wanted to add silver to it too but we'll dump that as we leave
Okay, silver's now added. Get rid of that. Sitting at here, seven. Eight. We've still got a pretty good amount. This might finish us off. And we're back at the low point. Ten pay night. jumps away. Okay, go over here. Check that. Two jumps out. one done. I'm going to go ahead and empty, clear that off my screen. Um, we're already an hour into this recording. I've popped it several times. I'm going to go ahead and hand it in this here and start up when I get to Selene. And then I'll go and start up there and do from the other t between the two and I'll probably do a lot more pausing. I didn't realize how much time I was putting off on the video. I'll see you all when we get to Celine here in just a little bit. Eh. We're so close. Let's go ahead and unlock Celine. 
and then we'll go and take care of the other one. thing I do like, even though it's only a B, look at my fuel scoop speed. It doesn't take long at all to get this uh, ship filled up with uh, 6P. I am going to pause it with that much distance to go. Oh, this has been so much fun. Uh... Interdicted twice so far, and each time it's when I've been trying to figure out how to get out of the head look mode where you can look around as you're going because I accidentally hit a button and I couldn't remember, didn't know what I hit. And of course, it's because I've got Painite on board, which is a heavily traded commodity worth a large amount of cash not as much as low temp diamonds but it was what everyone used to mine before low temp diamonds and all I've been getting is interdicted every moment of the freaking game anytime you slow down I'm interdicted It's enough to give you a complex, let me tell you what. We're in the middle of a system that's supposed to have security. I can see Allied Forces vehicles all over the place, but I'm still getting interdicted in a patrolled society, uh, system. You gotta love it. I already checked. Um, there's no ringed planets in this system. So we will be going straight out to the system I showed a little bit ago on the next one. I'll be covering that again on the next video. Okay, I can already say no that this is going to be too high of an angle of attack if I went in as I was. Now we're in a safe angle of attack. That's what those red hash marks were as we were coming in. Go and bring us back up so we don't come and break over this yellow line too soon. And we're good to drop down. We're at 70 kilometers out when we broke over. Oh, come on. Drop me onto the planet, come on. And I am getting this more often when I'm on when I think there's high traffic on my ISP. So I'm thinking it might be latency on my end or back to the server. Now it's interesting how our targeting isn't lining up with the actual base. Turn off 
our night vision. This is probably having to do with how a glitch coming in. Access granted. Proceed to landing pad zero four. I'm not showing damage, but I'm going to go and do repairs while we're here. Shields never went below half, but because I was off screen trying to do stuff, it kept dropping me out, being interdicted because I had the game in the options menu, so I couldn't do the flying you needed to be able to invade. And I'm not showing any repairs needed. Nice. Go engineers. Has been Donate them. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Um, let's go with outfitting. what they have available here for this. Um, I'm pretty sure they were level fours. But I'm going to put one of these on. And core internals. No, none in stock. Okay. Now go back to the engineer workshop. Hull reinforcements. And heavy duty hull reinforcements. And this is what we're going to run with. Beautiful. This is what we wanted. I swear I hit the right thing, but oh well. Pinning the blueprint also. And what I am seeing I'll be able to do some other hull reinforcements on my combat ships. I want to get this up as high as possible. Okay, so I'm only going to be able to max out three. That's it. We'll go back. Select the lightweight alloy. I don't know if we'll be able to go get her up to five because you just get so little on this. So I'm not even going to waste the materials. Uh, she's up to four now. Go back into outfitting. Optional internal. Transfer options. Transfer. Put this back on. And that hull reinforcement will just go and uh, get moved at a later point in time. But she's now done. 
and we have D.D. Vouderman and Bill Turner. Shield boost shields and plasma accelerators and utilities. Bill Turner is the next one on our list. Is where we're going next. Dee Dee. I need to bring Lobby and Brandy too. Um, so work with that one also. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one here. And I'll start up another one for Bill and then Dee Dee. <laughs> 